primarily focused on trying to get a stem cell match for this young man here, Raji, who is 11 years old and in November he was diagnosed with leukaemia, um, which is horrible for any family to hear anyway, mm. and then they're trying to deal with the treatment. Uh, he initially had chemotherapy, which in March they found out that it wasn't working as effectively as it should do, mm. and he needs a stem cell transplant. Now, one of the main problems with this is that Needing a stem cell match is very difficult anyway. There are literally thousands of different proteins on your cells that need to match. Mm -hmm. So it's not as easy as someone in the family can just donate because mm -hmm. only uh, about 30% of people can actually get a match from your family. They were also told that you can go on, they can search the registry of people who are willing to donate. If you are Caucasian, if you're white, you have a 60% chance of getting a match that way. Okay. But because he's not, and he's from an ethnic minority group, he actually only has 21% chance because there are so few of uh, our background people who are actually willing to register to donate stem cells. Sure. So this campaign is primarily trying to raise awareness, uh, to organise these drives, not just in the UK, it's going more and more abroad as well. So we've got uh, campaigns in the US, uh, the Dhatri group in India are organising two big drives in the coming days as well, so that people are more aware of what's happening, why it's important, uh, that they register and they're willing to donate. Now, we're praying, but if he, in the meantime, somebody else will get a match as well, so somebody else can also get a chance at life. And I feel like that's really the biggest seva that you can give. That sounds amazing, Bendy, and especially uh, with the lack of Asian donors worldwide, we've heard the rhetoric over and over again. Um, so it's definitely something worthwhile and that we can all get involved with. Um, so what you're telling me, Benji, is that the campaign is very simply just giving a bit whatever we can offer from ourselves to yes. those people that simply need it, huh? And so I think as we hear that Sikhi obviously is the embodiment of compassion, of thought that I'm there, God, that Dharam itself, righteousness, is built upon Dei, having compassion. Um, so an amazing compassionate act that we could all get involved with is hopefully being a donor for one of these less fortunate people and these people that need our help at these times. So just, um, Benji, what would donating actually evolve? So could you just talk us through the process? Um, and I guess there's a lot of people that are scared about donating. They are, and uh, that, I think the two biggest reasons why people don't register is partially lack of awareness, not knowing what it's about. And secondly, is this fear. They right. hear stem cell donation and instantly they think, Haddi Anjo Gadnaya, it's going to be big, it's a massive operation and it's coming out of your bones. And it's just not like that anymore. The technology, the medical procedures are improving all the time. So the first part is registering, which literally involves filling out a form and then these are the cheek cell swabs and all you do is provide a sample from the inside of your cheeks three times okay. um, and that goes off to the charity. So when you're seeing the posters and the drives at the Gurdwaras and all these events, that's all you need to do. We're not taking your blood at that time at all. That information then goes on to the registry. Um, if you are a match for somebody, so if the doctors are searching and they find someone that could potentially be a match, then they will do further blood tests and just make sure that your health is okay as the donor as well. If everything goes ahead, then 90% of the time they take the donation from your blood, like when you're donating blood. Sure. A few days leading up to the procedure, they will come to you to give you medicine so your own, your own bone is making extra stem cells to what it would normally do. Yeah. Then on the day, you lie down in the hospital bed, they take the blood out of one arm, remove those extra stem cells that you've just made, and then put the blood back into your arm again. Okay. It takes about four or five hours. There's no known side effects from that procedure at all. And 90% of the time, that's how it happens. There is a 10% chance, depending on what the patient's medical condition is, that they might need to get it from the actual bone marrow. It's done under general anaesthetic and it's a needle that goes to your hip okay. to remove the bone marrow. So that can take about uh, a week's recovery time. And sometimes that's the part that puts people off as yeah. well. Ultimately, if you register, it's still trying to increase the numbers on the register as much as possible because even if you register, you've got a 4% chance of actually matching anybody mm -hmm. within 10 years. Out of the 4% chance that you might match someone, 
out of those people, there's only an 8% chance that you'll actually go through all the tests and be able to donate and you don't back out or there's no other medical problems that stop you anyway. So it is really about raising the profile and getting as many people on that register as we can to give people like Raji the best chance. Wicked. So, so I think, as you've heard, there's a very, very, very low percent that will actually be able to successfully provide this for someone. So that being said, we as a collective need to get as many people as we can so that the guarantee of someone like Raji finding a donor is a lot higher and um, with the percentages being lower but actually successfully going through. It's as simple as taking blood and if need be there will be a very small operation and you can also check out our YouTube channel Jagraj Singh has also done a very quick five minute video on organ donation um, which talks about the sicky aspect of organ donation and it's very simple it's a compassionate act um, and for most of us chances are we probably won't even be successful for those of us that are successful, a 90% chance, all it's gonna take is just, you know, taking some blood out um, and that could change someone's life forever. The percentage of actually finding a suitable donor from a minority background is very low. So with the Guru Sahib Kirpa, let's try and get as many people as we can to register for this so that the chances of people like Raji that need a donation are increased. So Benji, just please explain to the Sangha, um, so if you are interested, what requirements are needed um, first of all, you need to be between the ages of 17 to 55. The youngest age to donate is actually 18, but you can pre-register at 17. You. Um, you need to be of relatively good health. Your weight should be more than 50 kilograms. Um, shouldn't be obese, more than a BMI of 40, and with no serious medical conditions. So you haven't had cancer yourself, no serious heart or kidney or liver conditions. Um, if you are diabetic, if it's controlled through diet, you can donate. If you can't, if it's not and you need insulin injections or tablets, then you can't. So there's a list on the website as well of what medical conditions might prevent you from being able to donate. As long as all those requirements are met, you can, but just check that you haven't already registered with, say, the Anthony Nolan Trust as well. Yeah. It only needs to be done once, and all of these organisations share their information okay. locally uh, in this country and abroad. Each time somebody's sample is processed, it costs the organisation £40. So if you've already done it once, you don't need to do it again. So just finishing off, Benji, um, it's been great speaking with you and thank you for taking your time out. If you could just let the Sangat know of any upcoming events and um, also if people want to get involved with this amazing campaign, how they can actually do save off the campaign um, and also is it possible to do online if people can't go locally? Um, on the group itself, have got a Facebook page, they've got Twitter accounts that are all coded Match for Raji. So you can search through those and they have a full schedule of all the places that they're going to to do drives. Sure. So in the coming days we've got Alice Way Gordwara at Hounslow next Saturday, the, uh, Bradford Gordwara, Smethwick, Warsaw all have campaigns coming up. If you can't get to any of those, you can go onto the DKMS website and you can order a swab kit to come to your house. Okay. It's so easy that you can do it yourself at home. It comes with a prepaid envelope. You swab yourself, put them in, put the swabs in the envelope and post it off. And then within a couple of months, you get the registration card that just says, yes, you are definitely on the register. Um, if you can't register yourself for whatever reason, either you're not of the right age or you have a medical problem, you could donate money because like I said it costs £40 for one person sample so if you're able to if you can donate money that can be done online but also you can organize these drives yourself if you just go to the campaigns and volunteer it takes literally a couple of minutes just to train somebody to say this is how you do it and you'll see just how easy it is any of those just raising awareness sharing the pages amongst all of your Facebook group your Facebook family and friends as well. Brilliant, so Sal Sangha Ji, very simple but effective seva to get involved with and something that's much needed. So please do check out the hashtag match for Raji, follow them on Facebook, get down to your local Godaraz. Benji said there's many events coming up and support and back something that's been needing to happen for a very long time. Yeah. Can I just say as well, thank you very much to you guys for agreeing to do this interview as well and just raise that awareness among the Sikh Sangha. It, it doesn't take a lot and I look at Raji's face, I think that could be my son. It could be any of us. So anywhere that we can help somebody with this will be such a big help. Definitely. So Sal hopefully will find a match for the young man Raji or anyone in a similar situation yeah. very soon. Why